Remember. My name is Kevin Parlett. I drive a 2005 Infiniti G35. In uh, 2005, I wrecked my STI actually, leaving the track, uh, going home with my brother, messing around. Watched it burn down from a tiny little flame to the entire thing being on fire. It was completely built. It was my dream car. And then took the insurance money, what was left of it, and put it toward this thing. The G35 and 350Z platforms are testaments to the capabilities of the VQ35 engine. While Nissan doesn't offer the VQ35 in boosted form, numerous aftermarket manufacturers offer solutions. When we started to build this thing, we realized that we were going to be building something that no one else has built before. And we decided that we were going to use the highest quality of everything we could do. So putting it together was probably one of the easier parts of it. Everything kind of went together pretty smoothly. I would definitely say the hardest part about this thing was probably the plan. Soho Motorsports readied the VQ for forced induction duty with forged steel connecting rods from Eagle and 8.5 to 1 compression ratio forged pistons from JE Pistons. A single Garrett GT3582R turbocharger with a Tile Sport stainless steel V-band housing sits in the front left corner of the engine bay. A modular header and manifold system for momentum performance feeds the turbine. The turbo's compressor directs charge air through a front mount intercooler while the Cosworth racing intake manifold distributes the air to each cylinder. Inside, a pair of Sparkle race buckets and G-Force 5-point racing harness keep the occupants in place. A Computex Systems Datamax LCD data logging display helps the driver keep track of engine vitals on the fly. The aggressive offset of the wheel and tire combination required some major massaging of the fenders by Bing's rods to provide adequate clearance for the 285s in the front and 305s in the rear. Aero upgrades include stray front bumper and side skirts, a custom carbon fiber front splitter, and an APR GTC 300 wing. When we built the car, we knew that we would have to do every single thing perfect. And by perfect, most of it was probably stuff that hadn't been done before to G35. From the engine to the turbo to the interior, all those things are really, really top of the line. But I've I can't lie, probably my favorite thing right now, which is still new to the car, is probably the front end. I mean, the, the Kevlar spiller from NASCAR is just, it's with the brake ducts and the block off plates and everything, it just, it looks so mean from the front. <laughs> I can't help but look at it and smile at this point, so. If I were to pick one random little thing that I like the most, it's, it's definitely probably the front end and the splitter. The car has been a long time coming. I've grown up drag racing my entire life. My family has done top alcohol drag cars since the day I was born. I think I left the hospital on a Thursday and was at the drag strip on a Saturday. Growing up with all that and all that horsepower around, my dad tuning, he named all of his cars from the 70s to the late 90s. Um, sudden Rush, starting with Sudden Rush 1, Sudden Rush 2, T-O-O, -O, then 3, and then so on and so on. So on the back of the car now, it's kind of a, a tribute to the family and just you know where I came from and where I've, how I've gotten here today. I'm gonna definitely have to give a special shout out to uh, the guys at Soho. I mean, they have just every night, every day for the past year to build this car. Put aside, you know, new marriages to, to work on this car. I'm sure the wives don't like that. Thank you to you too, by the way. <laughs> also, probably a really big shout out to uh, Jason Binger, who is the guy who has done all of the fabrication work on this car. If there is one singular person outside of a sponsor or a shop that has helped me, it is, it is Jason. And he has done a tremendous job with it. Other than that, I mean, just I, I really can't not mention all the sponsors that have helped. Soho, Saltec, Momentum, SPL, Suspension, Computech, just literally every single person who's been involved with this car has helped and helped tremendously, more than I could ever imagine, and I look forward to the future with all of them.